A very good day to you. Once again, welcome to our program. I've only got five minutes. I want to get right to the point. Don't blame God. How many of us do that? I know I've done it myself. Lord, why is this happening? And if I have a good deep look at myself, 90% of the time it's my own fault. I didn't listen to God. I didn't do what the Lord asked me to do. And then I start to argue with God. The audacity that I have to argue with my Creator. And many of us do that. Folks, I want to tell you it's a serious thing to fall into the hands of the living God. No one has ever won any battle against God. Especially not the devil. We need to understand, we need to take full um, responsibility for our decisions. And if they don't work out, then we can't blame God. There was a man in the Bible, his name was Job. And uh, God actually wanted to have a serious conversation with him. I want to say to you, there's no winners. Don't mock God either. You know, the Titanic was the biggest, greatest ship ever built up until that time. They tell me the, the steel in the hull was like this thick. Uh, the jib that uh, housed the cranes is still standing today in Belfast, Northern Ireland. I've seen it. It's like a mega multi-story building. They said this ship is unsinkable. I don't think they should have said that. Because on its maiden voyage, the hull was opened up like a can of baked beans with a piece of ice. And it went to the bottom of the sea. Don't ever say to God that no one can do this or that. The Beatles, remember the Beatles? Those of you of my age group will remember them well. The most famous music group in the world. They once said that they were more popular than God. And that was the wrong thing to say. Folks, we need to understand who God is. We need to understand where we, st where we are. We may not ever challenge God. We may not ever blame God. Because He is sovereign. Okay? And we are His creation. If you go with me to Job chapter 38, I want to read a few scriptures where God challenges Job. By the way, some of the theologians say that the book of Job is probably the oldest book in the Bible. Job chapter 38 from verse 1. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind, and he said, Who is this who darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Now prepare yourself like a man. I will question you, and you will answer me. Now that's a serious statement. God says, uh, who do you think you're talking to? Who, who do you think you are asking me these questions? You know, folks, when I lost my little nephew many years ago, he fell off a tractor that I was driving, and he was tragically killed. The one thing I never did, and I'm so pleased about that, I never asked questions. Because there's no answers. There's nobody on this earth that could have answered that, that my questions. Why did it happen? Why did God allow it? What, what, what did I do wrong? Why was it always me? None of that. Because that will just drive you insane. What you've got to do is you've got to trust God that He's sovereign over everything. There's no ways that God caused it to happen. But we've got to understand one thing. God is sovereign. The Lord said to Job, Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Being a bit sarcastic there. Or who stressed the, the line upon it? To what were its foundations fastened? Or who laid its cornerstone? We carry on and on and on. When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy or shut the door of the sea when it burst forth and issued from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment. The Lord goes on and He says, where were you? Folks, I want to say to you, don't question God. God is for us. He's not against us. He loves you. Trust Him. Until next time, goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.